Mother, I'm coming home. Chip guy here. Hand is a key. Pinky nail is a key. It opens doors and drawers. So here's another prototype piece of RFID furniture that I recently added some things to. Two kinds of low cost RFIDs, this one, and then there's that one. My hand chip can work with both of them. Like this, and like that. And my pinky chip, it only works with that one. It has a backup battery that I bought on Amazon, so it will work even if the power goes out. Inside it, I'm using a low-cost S-board as the controller, and then a custom Arduino piece so I could connect two RFID readers to the same controller even though it normally only supports one. And then the locking mechanism, that was that $10 piece I described earlier from Amazon, which is surprisingly strong, yet gives a satisfying pop when you open it. Shalom, Kohaloyim, Bahawadla, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahara Kagadash, Rakata Yahweh, Barakata, Yahweh Shai, forever. Infinite praises, infinite glory, infinite honor goes to my Heavenly Father and Only Begotten Son. My Heavenly Father's true name is Yahweh, which means He exists, and Only Begotten Son's true name is Yahweh Shai, which means He deliverer. Double honor to my elder apostles at Great Millstone, who really teach well. Shalom to the I'm pushing the truth and sincerity around the four corners of the planet. Shalom to the Akwati, I'm listening and learning. All right. As you see these heathens, man, using the RFID chip slash NFC chip, you know, to open things, to operate stuff, you know, uh, they got <laughs> the furniture, you know, to go with the, the, the chip in their hand to have easy access to stuff so they won't lose their wallet. So when they go to the hospitals, they'll have a they had a health records on file. They don't have to give them an ID, none of that. Hey, man, look, the scripture says, uh, matter of fact, let me get it right quick. This is what the scripture says. Because 12 tribes of Israel, you're not to partake in getting that RFID chip. If you do, you're going to die, man. You're in Jeremiah 10. Oh, so like it. Jeremiah 10 and 2 does say, Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at him. All right? For the customs of the people are vain, for one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. We well, you know that's talking about Christmas and all that. You know what I'm saying? But the scripture says, um, thus said Yahweh. So Yahweh said this. He said, learn not the way of the heathen. What's the way of the heathen? This RFID chip, all right? And you follow the heathen and take this shit, you know, because they're going to dress it up, make it look all pretty. You hear me? Give you a lot of perks. You know, tell you they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, um, they're gonna leave. The, they're gonna uh, delete that child support you owe. You ain't gonna have to pay alimony. You're gonna get a free, free pair of Jordans, some Krispy Kreme donuts, a life supply of Krispy Kreme donuts, and uh, the new Balenciaga, the all green ones you wanted. You know what I mean? They're gonna dress it up. I'm telling you, man. You know. So if you are the twelve tribes of Israel, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, so-called West Indians, so-called Puerto Ricans. You know, so-called North American, so-called Seminole Indians don't take that chip, man. My hand is my key for my house. It can open our house, furniture that we've made to interact with our chip. Nothing happens. We move and we put a new lock on our new house. <laughs> if the he you're talking about is my husband, no, he can't. Uh, but if the he you're talking about is this guy uh then the answer is probably yes again absolutely nothing it still works <laughs> yeah i'm blonde so you're probably like she didn't do any of her research but uh yeah no i am a law student and definitely did my research before i got a chip implanted in my hand so yeah we're good nothing <laughs> nothing happens so i'd go through like any other person i guess <laughs> yes he has one too he got his before mine. He has a cooler one and can do way more stuff than mine does. And see what the so-called white man going to do. He know they're going to have some people that's going not going to take this. So what he's going to do is uh, make it to where you can't buy or sell. And it's prophecy. You know what I'm saying? You can't boss prophecy around. You can't stop prophecy. Prophecy going to happen regardless, man. You dig? <laughs> prophecy is going to happen. And in the book of Revelation 13, 16, 14, 9, and 11, 
it says it clearly in there, man. And the RFID chip is the MOB, all right? The mark of the beast. The NFC chip is the mark of the beast. It's the same thing, man. Don't matter which hand you get it in. If you get it, you're going to die if you're a part of the tribes. If you're part of the other nations, the law don't care. They're going to take it anyway, man. All right? Torah tribes of Israel, you're not to take that RFID chip. Okay? Now, this is where faith kick in. Okay? When you don't take the RFID chip, all right, you're not going to be able to do nothing, you know? It's gonna, you're going to have to have faith in these days. That's why we say, Lord willing, we don't take this thing. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, you know? Lord willing, we don't take it. You know, we'll have you how about Shimmy our shy, man, who going to protect us and give us everything we need, all right? And this is why he trained you and show you how to fast, too, how to fast and go without and how to suffer, you know what I'm saying? Because evil times coming to Babylon the Great, you dig? And the so-called white man, a sneaky, slithering snake, what he about to do is, you know, he about to he about to cancel all of, you know, those, you know how those cards, you got credit cards, debit cards, and then they start adding the chips to it. You know what I'm saying? Now you can pay with your phone, now you can pay with Bitcoin, but all actuality, all that's going to go down, and he going to implement that chip, and it's going to be mandatory. You hear me? And if you got kids, and you don't have no fate, you hear me? That's why you got some of these dudes talking about something. The RFID chip ain't the mark of the beast. It's Christianity. Oh, it ain't. Uh, it's a. It's an embargo. It's white women. It's potato chips. It's this water bottle sitting next to me right here. It's this tablet I'm writing in, man. It's my cell phone. Oh, it's the DVD player, man. Come on, man. Knock it off, man. You know what I'm saying? So hold up. Let me get this. Let me get this right quick. Revelations 13, 16. It says, And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Who is that? The so-called white man, the devil the Bible speak of. Who's in control of the earth? The scriptures say the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who the wicked? The so-called white man. All right. The one you see all over, everywhere, all right, <laughs> putting sanctions and putting uh, putting his, the armies everywhere all over the place, putting people in captivity, changing people, whole ways of living around, messing up everything, man. The air, the water, the land, everything is messed up all because of him. He don't know how to run nothing. You know what I'm saying? So this dude here, he going to cause, all right, because uh, the bankers is in control, man. All right, the elite bankers and these damn uh, gutter rats, man. All right, they running a show. All right. Now, the, now the prophecy must be fulfilled. The law set it up that way for a reason. You hear me? Because hey, look, they ruling right now. But guess what? They about to lose that rulership, and and the, and the true people. All right, who gonna rule is us, man. All right. Twelve tribes of Israel. You hear me? Starting with Yahweh Shai. You hear me? And however he got it set up, you know what I'm saying? So it says, and he calls it both, I mean, Salaki, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So it don't matter, uh, it don't matter if you if you're not popular, it don't matter if you uh if you if you the rock, if you the Wayne Rocket Johnson, you know what I mean? Rich. You know, rich like, uh, so-called rich like P. Diddy. You don't care if you're rich like him or poor like me. You hear me? <laughs> don't get, like the poor people you see uh, living under the bridge. You know what I'm saying? Free and bond people that's free, walking around, going wherever they want to go, people uh, and bond people in jail to receive a mark in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, Salakia. In the 12 tribe that's in jail, man. They're going to come at them with like, look, we're going to let you out if you take this chip. You hear me? Or we're going to knock a couple of years off if you take this chip. That's how they're going to come at them, man. You hear me? And bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Well, just in case you got a knucklehead who say, well, what if I get it in my uh my left my left hand? What if I get it then? I can still get it? No, man. I'm going to get that scripture. 
that says in uh, either or hand, you hear me? It don't matter. If you get it, that means you're accepting the so-called white man as your power, as your God, so-called. And he's not a damn God, man. You hear me? you physically depending on the so-called white man. You hear me? And saying he's your God. All right? If you take that RFID chip, you take that NFC chip, that's what you're basically saying. It says, and that no man might buy or sell. All right? Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And this, and this is self-explanatory. You hear me? Here is the wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Now I'm about to get this last scripture right here and close it out. You know what I'm saying? It's Revelation 14, 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Right? So it don't matter what hand. All right? What's going to happen? The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the powers, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented, fire and brimstone. Look at that fire and brimstone again. You hear me? It's, 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 it's coming back. In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Who is the lamb? Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image. And whosoever received the mark uh, of his name. All right. So this is serious, man. This is nothing to be played with. All right. This is so serious. And it's real. It's not a fairy tale book. It's not the so-called white man book. All right. This is the truth. Don't try to uh, get you get wicked your way out of it, man, by not believing. But don't just because you don't believe, that don't mean it. it's not true. All right. So don't take the RFID chip, the MOB. The NFC chip. Do not take it, man. Call Hello and Wahawala. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bahara, Kokutah, Shalom.